Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Dr. Andrea Pennington, and today I want to talk to you about confidence. In particular, what it takes to have the confidence to show up and speak up as your authentic self in life, love, or in business. If you struggle to be your real self, if you find it hard to open up or be vulnerable, and you feel that this is holding you back from opportunities in life, then stay tuned. Welcome to Liberate Your Authentic Self with Dr. Andrea Pennington, the prescription for living your life out loud. Tune in daily to get fired up with insight and inspiration for purposeful living, conscious relationships, and soulful success. As you may know, my recent TEDx is live. The title I gave it was How Music Saved My Life, My Journey from Depression to Real Self-Love. Now this talk was a bold move on my part, where I shared a bit more of my personal journey of overcoming depression and learning to love myself, and I also sang live on that TEDx stage, one of the songs that I wrote as part of the Real Self-Love movement. Now that I've shared my personal story on stage, in books, and in media interviews, and I haven't died because of it, I actually feel more confident to share more of who I am, my personal passions, my music, and the previously hidden insights about mental health, creativity, and what I think it takes to succeed as a soul-inspired entrepreneur. But the confidence that I have today didn't appear overnight, and it didn't appear without some guidance and some nurturing. In fact, I want to share with you the one thing that made the biggest difference in my confidence as a TV personality and as a public speaker. And this is the number one thing that will help you find your voice to bring your wisdom, your talents, and your passion together in an authentic way so that you can have a powerful impact on the people whose lives you can touch. And I know that's what you really want, right? Because actually, I used to be like you, a little bit hidden away, working on your own in healing centers or homes or organizations. But now, you sense the need to shine your light on a bigger scale, right? You've heard the call? Or maybe you felt a nudge telling you it's time to rise up, to share your light, your wisdom, and your beautiful heart of compassion so that the people around the world can actually find you. And guess what? There are millions of people who are awakening. They're seeking new directions for living their lives, healing their bodies, soothing their minds, and building their own holistic businesses. And they're looking for you. They're waiting for you. Now is your time to own your gifts, because when you own them, then you can freely give them. But when you hide them or deny them or downplay them, they're not accessible and they have less power. When you bring the power of your heart and the fuel of your compassion and add to that the light that is within you, you can then transform people's lives. My journey as a public figure started in the United States as a medical doctor and TV personality. As the medical director and spokesperson for Discovery Health Channel, I was on TV every day for several years. I also owned a holistic wellness center and spa, which attracted people from all around America. It's where we shot my second appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show and my documentary series that's currently on Gaia TV. And while all of that may sound just a little glamorous, I was like you. I heard a call and I felt an urge to grow to a new level. I wasn't satisfied. I felt this deep desire to share the insights that I learned from Chinese medicine and nutrition and functional well-being. I wanted to teach how I discovered practices from positive psychology, neuroscience, and spirituality that could heal trauma and provide real recovery and resilience. So even though I was reaching millions of people on TV and radio each day, I was only sharing a fraction of what I knew. Now, in my wellness institute, I saw hundreds of people transforming, and I felt strongly that I couldn't just stand by and do nothing for the rest of the population. I actually dreamt of being open about these elements, just like I saw Deepak Chopra and Wayne Dyer doing. I really wanted to be able to openly share how my patients were overcoming addictions, healing from cancer and autoimmune diseases, 
all while using healing modalities that I didn't learn in medical school. But I was really scared. I wondered, what are people going to think? Will I lose my credibility? And of course, I felt like there were already so many great teachers out there. I asked, will I even be accepted among them? And I was really getting more and more frustrated when I started to see other doctors and therapists sharing the very same ideas that I had on TV and in books. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever had an idea or a way of teaching and then you see someone else doing it on social media or in a magazine and you're like, hey, I always say that. Well, I remember being at a speaking engagement. I was giving a keynote speech and there was this woman sitting next to me at lunch and she explained that she was really struggling with anxiety and she couldn't seem to get past this childhood trauma. Now, our host started listing recommendations of different healers and coaches and treatment approaches. And I was like, why doesn't she tell her about me? But of course, I was speaking on behalf of the Discovery Channel in a limited capacity as the spokesperson for the network. And my bio and my online profile didn't say anything about my training in addiction, eating disorders, and trauma. And it certainly didn't say anything about the energy medicine that was secretly a part of my healing process. So our host recommended a book by a popular TV therapist. Has that ever happened to you? Or have you ever felt like screaming, what about me? <laughs> but you don't? Well, I didn't scream either. I gave my keynote on the five keys to living heart healthy, and I went home, irritated, mad, and a little bit sad. And the next week, I started to write an article for the Discovery Health website with the same five steps from my keynote speech. And that's when another call came to me, and I discovered the one thing that can propel you forward. It's the power of a visionary mentor. So as I was sitting there typing in this blog in HTML code, this woman was behind me named Rita. And she said, Andrea, that's a book. And I'm like, what? It's a blog post. And she's like, no, listen, before I came to TV, she said, I was in publishing and I can show you how that could become a book. Now, at first I'm thinking, well, who's going to read a book by me? Like, there's already great people talking about medicine and healing for women, like Christiane Northrup, and the great psychology by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and of course, all of this integrative holistic stuff by Dr. Deepak Chopra. And she said to me something that has stuck with me to this day. She said, Andrea, you may have a similar message to those other authors, but some people won't be drawn to them or don't really resonate with them. You have a different voice, and some people will be drawn to you. They will be able to relate to you. And that really struck me. So I started looking at how this five-step plan could become a book. And I started to pour really what I wanted to say on TV, but didn't really have the authorization at the time. Something else that happened that was really pivotal for me at Discovery Channel was when Bob Reed, the then president of our network, came to me and said that he had this vision of how I could be on TV, hosting my own show and anchoring the news, which I was very happy to do. And after a, a little bit of time, uh, we were contacted at Discovery by Oprah Winfrey's producers because there was a big TV show she was putting on about African Americans and heart disease and diabetes. Soon, um, it was right after Luther Vandross had suffered a stroke. And the producers came to us to get some footage that they could show, as well as to ask if we knew of any doctors who could speak about this issue. So my first appearance on Oprah, I was so thrilled. I got to be on the platform with the amazing Patti LaBelle, and I got to share all of my nerdy insights on how, um, what's going on inside of the body. And what's interesting is that I got another call. <laughs> this time, it was from a publisher who said he happened to be sick at home with a cold watching the Oprah show, and he saw my appearance and went online, and noticed I didn't have any books and wondered if I would be interested in talking to him about publishing. 
Well, thank goodness I had already started working on my book because I was able to say, yeah, yeah, I would. As it turns out, just a year and a half later, my book was published. And guess who endorsed the book? Dr. Wayne Dyer and Dr. Christiane Northrup. That is the power of having a visionary mentor. So after my first appearance on The Oprah Show, where I was a little bit nervous, okay, I was seriously nervous, the president of the network came to me and gave me some really powerful feedback. And he said, you know what? You look like you were perfectly poised and holding your own up there. And that gave me so much confidence. And guess what? Just two weeks later, the producers called me because they wanted to do another show about how nutrition could be used to prevent the very same diseases we were talking about. They flew out to my wellness center where we recorded some segments, and then they flew me and my mother to Chicago to shoot my next appearance on The Oprah Show. So after that second appearance, I felt like I had a little more confidence to really step into this new identity, the me that I always wanted to be. And I was so grateful for my mentors at the TV network, but I knew that to get to that next level, I'd need some new guides and new teachers. And so I went to California to be mentored by Deepak Chopra at his center. And it, it literally felt like an initiation onto my new journey as a spiritual teacher and healer. And from that point forward, I made steady growth and progress as I emerged as the authentic version of me. I got to travel to Puerto Rico, where Deepak and Marianne Williamson hosted us for a peace conference. I sang on stage, and I made some lasting connections with new people who were like me, and they totally got me. I was finally seen and understood, and I felt totally accepted as me. So fast forward to today, and yes, you see me on TV, social media, and stages around the world, sharing my message from my heart and my soul and I'm no longer hiding or holding back. And it's the greatest feeling in the world. And I'm so proud that I can show my daughter what it means to be authentic and what conscious entrepreneurship looks like. I'm living a healthy lifestyle as an authentic public speaker and a visionary mentor who truly delivers transformational results to my clients. And that's what provides me with true fulfillment. And the one thing that made the biggest difference for me was being with a mentor who saw my potential and worked with me to bring it out, encouraging me along the way and giving me the opportunity to step up and shine. And you can imagine that when you do step up and you own your gifts and you start expressing them, sometimes your old way of living and your old circle of acquaintances don't fit anymore. And so the second biggest influence in my transition was being in a community of like-hearted people who didn't have any sort of a scarcity mentality or a fear of competition that the usual media world was plagued with. And it was this dedication to collaboration, sharing and celebration that helped me form the foundation of our Real Self Love movement, the Global Luminary Academy and the Global Luminary Activation Experience. At Make Your Mark Global, we are creating a whole new culture of soul-conscious, supportive luminaries, and you're invited to be a part of it. I care so deeply about you and your happiness, which is why I create so much free content and provide low-cost workshops around the world. I want you to be able to plug in to this supportive community and get mentored by me and my team of transformational luminaries. Being seen, heard, and valued for who you really are in, in ways that your circle of friends or even family members don't is such an important part of becoming a fully integrated, healthy individual, as well as a healthy part of a team or a partnership. I would love to connect with you and continue to support you as you increase your natural, authentic confidence. This is my way of giving back to you. Until we meet again, my friend, remember you are a gift to the world. So share your presence with passion. Much love.